All right, good morning, fellow Air and Space geeks. It's Mick here from ECG Air and Space, and then the image you see today is the newest, one of the newest images of the stereo Sechi ahead camera. Um, and in that, around the middle, you, you, you can tell which one is the comet. Um, let's go ahead and get the information up on the comet. As of right now, it is two days, five hours, nine minutes from going around the sun, and its speed is 235,000 miles per hour, and the distance from the sun is 15 million miles, um, and the estimated visual magnitude is 1.48. Um, yeah, as of right now, it's just the wait and see till Thanksgiving with that, but there's something interesting that... Uh, I wanted to bring up, and it's an article from science.nasa.gov from April, 20th, uh, April 19th, 2013. Um, a veteran meteor researcher, Paul Weigert of the University of Western Ontario, had apparently did some computer modeling uh, to see the trajectory of dust ejected from Comet Ison, and what he found is... And I quote his comment here, For several days around January 12, 2014, Earth will pass through a stream of fine-grained debris from Comet Ison. The resulting shower could have some interesting properties. Well, apparently because these dust, uh, tiny grains of dust are so small, they're going to kind of sit up in the upper atmosphere. They're not going to burn up like a regular, I guess, meteor, meteorite shooting star. Um, and what's going to happen is if, if enough of them build up there, um, they can sit in the atmosphere for a few months to even years, and then they'll slowly settle out of the high atmosphere onto the ground. Um, but while it's up there, it can produce some really cool noctilucent clouds, which apparently they glow electric blue, like really high above the Earth's poles. It says right here 80 kilometers. Um, and they just kind of sit up there, and I, I, do, I do think that would be interesting. I wonder how far south you could be able to see those from the Earth's poles. But, uh, yeah, it was, it was something pretty interesting. I thought I'd throw it into this, uh, just to see what you guys thought about it. Um, also, I, I have been hearing, and I haven't read anything, I don't, I don't want to say credible, but I just haven't read anything really about it. But some people are worried about bigger objects hitting Earth from ice on, especially if it breaks up. But I haven't really read anything, and I reiterate, I haven't read anything about that. But if you have any links or anything like that, feel free to send me a uh, PM private message on here, a link, and I'd be more than happy to read it. Um, I find any of this air and space stuff pretty interesting. That's why I do this. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, please hit the like button, and uh, feel free to subscribe for more air and space news.